It is beginning to look like Christmas. Join Harry and his family at this most wonderful time of the year. Mom is taking me to the Christmas fair on Saturday. That's so cool. My mom will take me there too. How is the shopping coming along? It feels endless. I am still looking for presents. Can we go home already? I think we should. That's enough shopping for one day. I'm sorry guys. The market is very busy today. I can't wait to see grandma. I can't wait to see her too. Let's hope the train is here on time. Honey, has the train delayed again? Looking at the schedule, it looks like it might be on time for a change. Race into the kitchen. I'll beat you to it. Guys, could you not run in grandma's kitchen, please? Oh, don't bother them. I remember what you were like. I don't know where they get all that energy from. You have had a very busy day. Tell me, what is all this buzz about? I just love Christmas. It's the most wonderful time of the year. What do you like best about Christmas? I love everything. Sure sounds like a lot of fun. But, do you want to hear an incredible story? Yes, please. I love stories. It all began when God created his perfect world. He made Adam and Eve in his image and likeness. God gave them authority to rule over everything he had made. His only instruction to them was to stay away from the tree of good and evil. One day, when Eve was all alone, the snake came to her and tricked her into eating from the forbidden tree. Eve gave the fruit to Adam and he ate too and their world was torn apart. What have we done? I feel so scared and alone. Did you eat the fruit that I told you not to eat? Eve, what have you done? The snake tricked me and I ate the fruit. Because you didn't trust me and you ate from the tree of good and evil. You no longer belong here in my special garden. Eve, you will give birth in pain. And Adam, you have to work hard for food. God cursed the serpent and put hostility between the man and the serpent. The Lord declared that one day a son will be born who will crush the head of the serpent. God sacrificed an animal and clothed Adam and Eve with the skin. And God sent them away. For centuries, God chased after his children because of his love for them. God sent several messengers to bring his children back to him, but they were ignored. But Grandpa, why does a holy God want to live with people? It is because God passionately loves his children. And he wants to be with us. A priceless sacrifice was required so that God could relate to man. So a prophecy was given. The Lord himself will give you a sign. The virgin will be pregnant. She will have a son, and she will name him Emmanuel, which means God with us. Then one day, the angel Gabriel visited a virgin and changed the course of history. Mary, you have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. How can this happen? I am not even married. The Holy Spirit will come down to you, and God's power will come over you. So your child will be called, the Holy Son of God. I am the Lord's servant. Let it happen as you have said. One night, some shepherds were in the fields nearby, watching their sheep. This is going to be another quiet night. What do you expect? Nothing ever happens around here. At least we have this fire to keep us warm. Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby, 
wrapped in cloths, and lying in a manger. Give glory to God in heaven and on earth. Let there be peace to the people who please God. The miracle happened in Bethlehem. I can't believe it. The Savior has been born. Let's put our sheep away and go and see this miracle for ourselves. Oh, Grandpa. This is very exciting. Did the shepherds see the baby? Oh, yes. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph, and the baby, who was lying in the manger. This is the best story ever. I know, my son. But, the story doesn't end here. Let me tell you why he came. I just heard the most incredible story. Grandpa told me all about Christmas. Now I know, the reason why Jesus came. I have a go? Of course, you can. Oh my son, this good news is the most joyous story, indeed. Now I know, Christmas is a time to celebrate Jesus. Oh yes, God loved us so much that he came from heaven in the form of a child like me, so he can have a relationship with us all. This should bring us the greatest joy during this Christmas season. This is very exciting. Jesus came to set us free so we can be a part of God's kingdom. Hello there. God loved you so much that he sent his only son to set you free from the powers of sin. Because of God's love, you can be a part of God's family and forever live in total freedom and peace. You no longer have to live under the rule of sin because Jesus came to set you free from the power of sin and death. Would you invite Jesus into your heart today to be your savior? Jesus wants to be a part of your Christmas celebrations. What will your Christmas look like?